multiple layers of food. Part of the Passive House community. Well, the event today is Passive House New England's uh, second annual fall symposium. Uh, I am the, uh, the president of the board of Passive House New England, which is a nonprofit here in Massachusetts. The symposium focuses specifically on the Passive House standard, which is an energy use intensity standard. I got into Passive House, I uh, graduated from college and during your session, and a guy in New Mexico asked me if I could be there in two weeks help them with a couple pass passes and I said sure. I went to art school so I never really learned how to build normal buildings. I really only learned how to do passive house. So now I now that I'm further into my career I feel like this is the way to go. I'm a member of the Boston Pass House community. In New Zealand there's not much of a community. It's about maybe five years behind the US. All the stuff you see here like the guy with these cool wood gas stoves and and uh, window sales and all that stuff. We don't have any of that in New Zealand. It's pretty awesome. Adam Cohen's great. I'm Steve Constantino from Maine Green Building Supply. We're based in Portland, Maine. Uh, we're at the Passive House Conference today. Uh, we brought two product lines with us. One is a Intus uh, triple glazed high performing windows and Sega uh, coverings which have house wraps, air barriers, and lots of different types of ceiling tapes. Yeah, I enjoyed it myself. It's a new experience for me. I just started helping uh, Yara DSI, so it's uh, new and it's always welcome to, to learn something new. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks to Elizabeth and Kristen and New England Passive House for inviting me here to speak this morning. Uh, my name is Chris Corson. I'm a designer and a builder. One of the core problems that we've talked about in Passive House New England monthly meetings uh, is that there are a lot of people who want to build low energy. And what we need to do is find a way to convince clients that this is what they should be doing. I went to my first class for Passive House training. I was like, wait a second, I can save more energy. So we redesigned the building. It took about three and a half months to redesign, calculate, redesign, calculate price. This building was $26,000 less than the earth sheltered building. It was 25% more efficient. The Passive House Symposium is sponsored by the Passive House New England Group. Uh, we're a, a group of professionals, architects, engineers, and contractors who are all interested in uh, learning about designing and building. Uh, extremely low energy homes. The climate is certainly exciting um, in the greater Boston area. There's a really you know, overwhelming interest, I would say, or rather a, a growing interest in, in what we're doing. Every year we've grown. Uh, we've, we've, uh, we outgrew our last space, which is the Boston Architectural College. Uh, so this year we sought new space where we could have more people as well as vendors and display some materials that are typical in Passive House projects. It's it's cheaper to build, it's cheaper over time, and the building lasts longer. So it's a win all around. You know, environment be damned, you're still saving money. This is this is real. I mean, this is saving money, saving energy. It's proven. You know, it's taken off in Europe, so we're just a little bit behind, so we'll get there. <laughs>